short time today, and I get the gallery or studio. I've uh, been running around all day today trying to get things. I got a few drawings I've got to do, and I was looking for a drawing tablet someplace, but couldn't find one any place any of the stores around town here. So I may have to go to Bozeman tomorrow. Anyway. I'm uh, just putting on the gloves because uh, this foam stuff is nothing to fool around with. It's taxidermy foam and it comes in a AB solution. And what you do is you put equal parts of the A and B together and they make a foam. Uh, going to hopefully make this work out. This is uh, the B solution. The A solution is the one that's really hard to keep from hardening up on you because it, I put this uh, plastic over the lid are over the opening to keep air out because it has a, a tendency to want to harden and under the lid and you can't get the lid open after a while. So anyway, I'm going to take my cup here and I'm going to fill up to a certain line. I think uh, right there. just to keep this lid from sticking to the uh, plastic. I've got uh, both of them up to that same level and I'm going to take uh, this and pour it in here. And then just start uh, mixing it. I get some paper towels ready to go in case I start getting leaks. Maybe more than I need. Anyway, I keep mixing it until I feel it getting warm in my hand because that's telling me it's activated. It only takes a couple minutes for it to harden and expand. I think I got the uh, bottom of the uh, reservoir that I made yesterday sealed up really good. I can feel it warming up now. So I'm just gonna scrape off the excess and now let's pray it works. Ah, 
See, now that's why I got the gloves on. Boy, if I didn't have the gloves on, that would be a disaster. No leaks, except for where I screwed up. Okay, it's coming up. Oh, crap. Oops, camera's all, all askew. There we go. I managed to get some of this on my leg, which I didn't intend to do, but it happens. And I got it on my fingers now. I mean, I'm experienced at this. And if I can do screw up like this, don't try it at home. I'm going to try to get this off my leg with some lighter fluid. All right, this, this is what pisses me off is it got on my turntable here. I've got another one, but it just ruins that one. And, uh, but you can see how quickly that hardens up. Here I'm sitting here warning you and I screwed up. Never listen to an expert, because <laughs> they may not be. Much of an expert. It hasn't even been five minutes and it's already stiff. I got to do the uh, reservoir for the upper part. I got this on my bare leg, and because uh, I'm wearing shorts, and it's not fun to get it off. It's going to take a long time. I've thinned it out a bit, but it's still on my leg, and I'll be scratching at it to get rid of it, but. It is what it is. All right, I'll come back Monday and do this part here. I'm just uh, going to have to take care of uh, all this uh, foam that got on me, my body and around my studio here. <laughs> Boy, talk about a disaster. And dropped a big plop right on my hand. Thank goodness I had that glove on. Oh, my gosh. That would have been disastrous. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. 
it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.